Let's talk about laser beams. Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and we're here today to talk about laser beams. Uh, so, if you are unfamiliar, there's a, I don't know about if I'd say debate, but discussion online about the use of lasers under night vision. And the discussion goes something like this. If you use an IR laser to aim uh, against bad guys who also have night vision, then they can see your laser, because lasers work both ways, and they can trace back your position and find you uh, easier than uh, if, if you were not using a laser, right? So the, the, the countermeasure to that is what's called passive aiming, which means just bringing up your gun, looking through your nod, through your optic, putting the optic on the bad guy and just pulling the trigger, right? Which uh, in practice, in my opinion, after experimenting with is, is actually pretty hard to do. And I would say past 25-ish yards, uh, I, I'm not able to passive aim. And I, I mean, I have a, uh, I have a PVS-14 and then I have a uh, EOTech. Jeez, wow, I couldn't think of the name there. It took me a minute. <laughs> I have an EOTech. I have an e e e EXPS-303, something like that, whatever, that one. Uh, so all that to say, you know, when it comes to like light transmission of the optic, I supposedly have one of the best ones. And I would say, uh, you know, past 25-ish yards, I just, I don't think you're getting enough light coming through the optic into your nod to really be able to, to hit what you want. So I'm kind of whatever. Now maybe I have a bad PVS-14, maybe someday I'll get a really nice one and I'll change my mind. But right now for me, I just, I'm not impressed. So I've defaulted and I've made a whole other video about this to, to laser aiming. But right now let's talk about, is it true that someone can find your position if you use your laser? And here I think is maybe the, the misunderstanding of that. that, that primar I think that thought primarily comes from full power military lasers. So you and me as everyday people, we don't get the cool stuff, the full power military laser, which is wrong and immoral and of course you're entitled to it. That's a different video, okay? But we have considerably dumbed down lasers. And if you look at like the power on full power lasers, it's something like 100 units, I forget the unit of measurement right now, it's something like 100 units of that measurement, okay? And then when you look at like civilian power lasers, it's like 0.1 unit of that measurement. So like we're talking orders of magnitude different power levels coming off those lasers, right? Like military grade lasers can like, you know, blind you when, you, when, when they hit your eyeballs, right? Um, civilian lasers uh, can't do that. You know how I feel about that civilian word. Anyway, so uh, we're talking about the laser. So with that low, po low power laser, and again, I think like a everyday you and me laser, a, a non-military laser is, uh, it gets the job done. Like I can still, I can still hit at night, um, you know, and maybe if I had like a, I don't know, a Ma Deuce 50 cal or something, I'd want like a full power military laser on that because I'm setting that gun out to 800, 1,000 yards, right? Um, on the regular, and so I, I need a laser that can for sure punch that far, right? So maybe then it's a little bit more of, a, of an issue, but I've never shot a Madu, so I don't, I don't know. So anyway, uh, we're talking about just ARs, okay? The, the, the civvy poor, poor person's lasers that we have get the job done. So the other, I don't, advantage, disadvantage, I don't know, because they're not putting out as much power, they can't trace back your position. So, so here's some footage I've taken at night, right? Side. All right, send your laser. You got it on? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Send it, send it. You see, still sending it? Yeah. I send it way out there. Yep, I can't see anything from the side. Leave it on. Okay. Okay, sounds good. Okay, all right, great. That one, go ahead. 
that one you actually can see a little bit from the side. Punch it way out there, like 200 yards or whatever. Yep. Yeah, that one just a bit. Okay. And when you are getting the laser directly into the camera, you can obviously see the laser, okay? Because it's coming right at you. When you are seeing the laser from the side, right? Particularly from like 90 degrees, but anywhere from the side, you can't really see the laser. Uh, it's not traceable back. So the only way that I can trace back your laser is when you're lasering me, right? And if you're lasering me, you're probably shooting at me. So like, I have bigger problems than the laser at that point, right? Now you could say, oh, well, then they know where those bullets are coming from. They're gonna be able to return fire. Okay, I mean, there, there's, there's an argument for that. My argument is just send more bullets and solve the problem before they can shoot you back, right? Which should be what you're trying to do anyway. But my point being that I, I think this concern of giving away your position with, with a laser at night, I think it's overblown. I think it's overblown because by and large, lasers actually aren't that visible. Again, the everyday lasers you and I have aren't really that visible unless they're being shined directly at you. Uh, illuminators are gonna give away your position a lot more. You know, flashlights, obviously, any other kind of you know, light like that. Like when you see an illuminator from the side, you can totally tell that there's, there's light being cast here, okay? So like you can, you can pick that up, but the laser, not really guys like, and if you don't believe me, go out and try this, right? Go out with your buddy, have them take your laser gun, right? And shine that laser and stand and just, and just walk, you know, make sure the guns unloaded, be safe. Don't point guns at people, etc., cetera, et cetera. Uh, but I'm telling you, you can't see that laser un unless it's, it's coming directly at you, right? Disconnect the laser unit from the gun. Cause I know you're going to be safe about that. Uh, my point being that you, you can't, unless that laser's coming right at you, 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 you can't really see it. Uh, from the sides and stuff, you can't see it. Don't laser your eyeballs, also a bad idea. So, I hope that gives you something, some perspective and some thought about it. I think that this is one of those cases where sometimes we port stuff direct from the military without understanding that the context has changed and that their equipment in this case is much different than our equipment. And we say, oh, well, when they shine lasers and I watch battle footage, I see that I can clearly see the laser going from here to here, right? So I should be concerned about that with my laser. Well, it turns out though, your laser isn't the same. And you can't see your laser going from here to here. You, you can be over here beaming up a laser over here and I can't, I can't see anything um, because our lasers are different. Go ahead, go out there and try it and let me know the results. Do brave deeds and endure.